relic now, that its hull will block all outside communications. We have some privacy at last. In what little time we have left, I have a great many things to explain. After that, you will need to make a decision. First, you may have noticed that we are being pulled into the ship. The strike suit travels faster as we move toward the core. There is a massive amount of fold energy permeating the entire ship. As a result, you will be unable to transform until we reach the shielded central chamber. As we move toward it, you will need to shoot through some of the obstacles we encounter. will have realized what we are trying to do, and will turn the relic back toward Earth. You do not have much time. for some time. There have been many steps leading to this point. Sending the signal, merging with Dr. Abram, designing the strike suit, even choosing you. of the entity's true name gave this hybrid its designation. Control. Eventually, the ship's mind, my mind, took over hers entirely. mankind to the stars. I did this because I need a massacre at Akira. I triggered this war. The Colonial's weapon, the Relic, is the body I was separated from. The Colonial's found it as your people found me. In hibernation, comatose. But they found a way to use the Relic and turn it against you. I called you to Thule to fly this ship. And I built this ship so you could bring me here. This is what the strike suit was designed for. It can reunite me with my body and free the mind of Isabella Abram. It is the only ship that could survive the journey. I did all this so that I could be made whole again. But I needed a pilot to bring me here. 
I needed someone who would listen. Someone who had shown they understood when your orders are no longer relevant. I chose you. I hope I chose correctly. chamber, you will find the ship's core. Destroy that and you will destroy the relic as per your orders. But the colonial fleet will remain and the battle will continue. The resulting explosion will create a fold in both space and time. I know this because we have been here many times before. Dr. Abram and I will end up back on food. You will find yourself dazed and confused on Orbital 17. As a side effect of your temporal relocation, your memory of these events will fade, and you will be doomed to repeat them. We will meet again in the timeline that follows, and reach this point. As a result, destroying the core is futile. In previous iterations, the futility of this path escaped you. So I have been adapting your journey each time to help you make the right decision. I suggest you do what I brought you here to do, and destroy the limiters that surround the core. They are designed to prevent another mind doing what I am about to do. Take control of the ship. Allow me to do that, and I will alter the storm and turn it on the colonial fleet. Your planet will be safe and your war will be won. that will allow me to take over the ship. Once Control had taken back the relic, she stayed true to her word. She used the storm to paralyze the colonial fleet, 
And then we showed them the same mercy they had shown us. In the aftermath of their victory, mankind didn't think too long about their saviors. The vast, intimidating shape of the relic still hung over Earth. We didn't know what Control's intentions were, or what she would do next. But for now, at least, Earth was safe. Although the battle for Earth had been won, it had left its own legacy on the world below. Space platforms crashed into the ocean. Debris from a thousand ships fell across the world. In our fight to save Earth, we had not done enough. Our world was dying. The remnants of mankind were left no choice but to leave their world behind and start looking for a new home.